A friend asked me to do some microphotography of her blood. When I put the sample under the microscope, I was just astounded at how many red blood cells there were. Without any dilution or smearing, they really do behave like a body tissue that just happens to be a liquid. I added some saline solution to get a good look at individual red blood cells. Under phase contrast microscopy, you can really see their textbook jelly donut shape. Zoomed in a little more and you can see them stacking together. Bonus points if you can find a white blood cell. I put a cup on a really long stick so I could look at the microbes on the bottom of this creek. Since it's sunny and warm and the water is clear, I knew I would find diatoms. If you don't know about diatoms, here's the rundown. They're phytoplankton that are encased in glass. They produce 20 to 50% of the Earth's oxygen. And I think this one looks like a Coke bottle. If you take two sheets of polarized film and hold them perpendicular to each other, they'll block out almost all the light. But if you put something between them and that changes the polarity of the light, you can see those changes. We're going to use this to observe the muscles inside of mosquito larvae. So check this out. As the muscles change orientation on the slide by contracting, they also change color. This is because muscle tissue changes the polarity of the light as it passes through. That allows different wavelengths of light to pass through the second filter. This whole series of manipulating the orientation of light allows us to see these mandible muscles in clear detail. These are ram's horn snails, and they're about two to five millimeters wide. I threw them under the microscope to use with polarized light and a pleochroic plate. This is the same technique that I used in my mosquito larvae video. We can see all of the different structures inside of the snails because they interact with light differently. And I'm not making these snails fluorescent or anything, though that would be a really cool genetic experiment to do so. The flesh of these snails just interacts with the polarity of light in an interesting way.